Now, just like Shelly said, March means spring break. And whether you're hitting the road for a trip or you're heading out on a plane, packing is super important. So we brought in our stylist, Stacy, to help us out. Hi, Stacy. Good to see you. Hi, happy Monday, and it's officially spring break. Yay, Yay. officially <laughs> spring break. So people are making plans, staying in, yes. but some are going out. And a lot of times we forget what to pack. That's why you're here. What do we got today? Okay, well, first of all, I wanna share with you something that I like to wear when I travel. I personally like to wear a maxi dress because it's stretchy fabric, it's long. So if you get hot, you could always pull the dress up just a little and knot it at the bottom. Um, you can always add a jacket to it too. So I like to travel with my denim jacket and then you can just put that on if you get cool. And the great thing about a denim jacket is this is basically something that you can wear year round. Um, it's appropriate for all seasons. So Rebecca, what do you like to wear when you travel? That's so funny that you brought that up because you're so <laughs> stylish. I love that you wear dresses when you travel. That's awesome. Me, I'm yes. a lot uh, more casual. <laughs> I usually travel <laughs> in pajamas or sweats, but that's okay. Right? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and you know, you can take a cardigan too. A cardigan yeah. is just lightweight. Um, you have your sleeves as well. So if you don't want to take a denim jacket, which can kind of be heavy sometimes, you can always travel with the cardigan. And you know, speaking of traveling in your pajamas or stretchy clothes, you know, yoga pants are awesome to travel in because they're stretchy too. There's lots of give in them. Um, some people like to travel in denim, which is fine. I would recommend more of like um, a boyfriend cut jean, mm -hmm. which is more relaxed versus like a skinny jean. Because if you're going to be sitting, whether it be in a car or the airplane, you're really not going to want to be in skinny jeans. Also, when traveling, you're going to want to think about your shoes. Um, so it's great to wear closed in shoes. Now, if you're at the airport, you may not want to wear tennis shoes because you often have to take your shoes off. So that requires sitting down and lacing up shoes. This pair right here is just Velcro. They're really easy to slip on. Also, when I travel, I love to take a big tote bag because mm -hmm. obviously everything can fit in there. And when I travel, I'm old school. I like to take a magazine with me and look at that while i'm traveling also you don't want to forget your hand sanitizer and if you have kids all of their stuff tends to go in your bag too right you end up carrying it all for them <laughs> absolutely those shoes are so cute and i'm with you with the big tote okay so you got us covered with clothes we're going to check back in yes. with you in a little bit to see what else we need to make sure to put in our suitcases thanks Stacey. Welcome back, everyone. Now we're checking back in with Stacy. She showed us some really cute outfits that we can travel in, and she's also sharing her spring break packing tips. Hello again. Hi. Good to so, see you. What do we got? Something that we probably aren't really thinking about when packing is our face mask, and that is the number one thing that we should be packing. It's very important. But what I wanted to say was I like to wear the reusable mask. Um, my daughter, on the other hand, she likes the disposable. But if you think about packing and being gone for a couple of days, you might want to take reusable masks because I don't know about you, but I don't do my laundry when I travel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you have to wash those after a couple of uses yes. and make sure. Yes, I like Absolutely. the disposable too. Yes. And so anyway, I wanted to go on with um, a first aid kit. So if you're going to be traveling by car, you're probably going to want to take a first aid kit, especially if you have kids. And also, if you're going to be going by car, I always pack extra bottles of water. I normally take a little ice chest for my kiddos. That way we're not stopping every five minutes for something to drink. So I like to take my ice chest and make sure you have water. Also, um, a toiletry bag. So mm -hmm. I keep this packed all the time. So I never have to really go over that list of what do I need? What do I you know, have to have packed? I keep this together all the time. And there's things in here that I don't you know, always think about when packing, like mosquito spray. Mm. That's not something that yeah. you, know, you always think about. So if you keep your bag together at all times, you don't forget some of the necessities. <laughs> That is so smart, just to keep that one separate. That can be your travel toiletries. Yes. I like that. Because, I mean, yes. even though the hotels have a lot of that stuff, there's always something you forget. 
Well, and I always forget makeup wipes. I love when my mom Same. travels with us because she always, you know, reminds me, hey, did you forget your, t you know, makeup wipes yeah. this time? Because she's always got me covered. So I try to keep these in the bag all the time. <laughs> love and all then, of this. Uh -huh. Something else? Yes, so something else you may not think about is a laundry bag. And if you're traveling by yourself, you probably won't need this, but we're a family of five. So what do you do with all of your laundry at the end of the day with a family of five? So I like to take my laundry bag with us. And so at the end of the day, all the dirty clothes go in, because like I said, I don't like to do laundry when we're traveling and it's family time, right? <laughs> yeah, I love that because every time we do go somewhere, I'm always looking for a plastic bag yes. or an HEB bag, whatever it is. I don't know why I just don't take a laundry bag. So smart. Yes. Thank you again, Stacy. So now you know exactly what to pack for your spring break trip. Now, Stacy has such great ideas all the time. She posts them all over our social. And of course, you can keep up with Stacy at salivingcom